Warning, the following episode of Boots on the Ground contains mature language. Viewer to your own discretion. Here we go. Let's do it. Yeah. So I'm recording. So we're back. Everybody get angry. Urgh. Yeah, we're going to get angry because we're going <laughs> to talk about the uh, prime tournament. It's kind of hot. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're going to talk about the Prime Tournament. It's going to be <laughs> real bad. And then I get to end on a happy note. But we, yes. we can talk about the Prime Tournament. So, does someone want to explain what the fuck just happened with the Prime Tournament? Uh, no, because no one knows what the fuck just happened with the Prime Tournament. Um, the problem was, I don't think CCP knew what the fuck was going on with the Prime Tournament. That was the, the major first, problem. Yeah, the first problem was the venue... I guess you would say. Um, yeah, that's the nobody has had it. anything good at all to say about Urgent Fury. Um, I, hey, hey, hey. they sent me a happy birthday email. Okay, nobody else. You're the only person that I've seen <laughs> say one positive thing about that website. Um, <laughs> so that that was like strike one right there, and then they said that it was going to be. Um, what eight was it at first? Eight, eight, eight versus eight, eight, versus eight, eight domination would have been perfect. Uh, in my opinion, for a, for the smaller corps to have a crack at it. True, but you can also form your own teams. So I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a completely different thing. Um, so that was the game mode of choice was bad. Like people just didn't like that. Um, what else? They said that there was going to be the finals between North America and EU, which was going to be a lag fested, um, that was controversial to the prize as well. Exactly. Um, the prizes are stupid. Um, <laughs> they're just dumb. How much? I don't even know how much ISK you get. You get what, like seventy-five mil, I think, something like that. Yeah. And then you get to name a planet. And name yeah. a planet, however. I like that. Good. That's yeah, I like, cool. That's cool. That's like a cool secondary thing. But, but I'm of the opinion that naming planets is going to be second is going to be common within eighteen months. So it's not ri- all you get is the fact that you named the first planet. <laughs> True, and it was like a prize for the tournament. I, I mean, I kind of understand that. Um, but whenever you, that's like your, your big prize. The big prize is naming a planet. Like nobody cares about that at all. Certainly, you players don't care. I think uh, quite players a lot don't of care players about besides Eve. Cares. Like yeah, when the, uh, if, if they were doing it, yeah. when the article went on the Matani, a lot of people were saying I would pay money the Dust Corps to be able to name that planet. <laughs> yeah, but of course that goes back to the fact that we haven't got a, <laughs> got a bloody link between the two games yet in terms of the ISK, so you kind of pointless. Well, actually, you do now. I mean, I just plexed my EVE account by trading Dust to ISK it, uh, someone, so... Oh, pretty good actually, because I couldn't be bothered grinding Esk on Eve. So, and I just, like, because I still had all that hundreds of millions from the endurance event or whatever it was. And we got all of those items refunded straight away after that <laughs> event ended. But yeah, sorry, someone was saying something. I forgot. Um, I think we were just bitching. Well, I was bitching about the prize. Oh, yeah. yeah, prizes. So, so I guess like that's the third thing was the prizes sucked, or are going to suck, and then the fourth thing there's like, I think we just said what sixty something matches for North America, <laughs> and twenty something matches for EU, with with just a pool of thirty two players. Remember, right? Two teams. Um, and oh, then... you mean like you can only have thirty two people on the team? Right. Yeah. yeah, and that's another thing they just they had to switch because at the beginning it was, what, 20 people? Yeah. And you could only field 16, so you had a whole four alternates. Which, <laughs> that doesn't work for a game that has uh, their tournament games um, in the middle of the day, I believe. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what time the, the things are. Um, I was like I said, I to find out. About. Yeah, you know, I mean... It's pretty bad when they have all these corps and how many how many North America and EU corps total do we have? Some about fifty, maybe. Something yeah, like participating. 
that's really not good at all. Um, it was a lot more when it was eight versus eight. I remember that. I remember it was really low. Like there was four European teams for a while. And then they said eight v eight, and then that number like jumped up. And then they said sixteen versus sixteen. So there's a lot of teams which are gonna get disqualified because they don't, they can't play anymore, but they're right. still signed up. Yeah, the whole thing is just being a clusterfuck of organization. Yeah, for a start, you know, if it being really, if it being uh, run militarily like clockwork and done correctly, uh, it been a double it elimination might, bracket. It, yeah, if it it might have been interesting, but the whole league thing round tape, you know, round robin style. It's just oh, it's just a grind. It's it's PC again, basically. You know, it's just it's just a bloody grind. You know. <laughs> it's, where's the fun? Where is the fun? I mean, if you, I guess, it, if you're one of those people who really just was wanting to get team versus team matches, it will be fun. But yeah, well, you know, there are a few people out there like like that. But you know, again, we're going back to the demographic. The kind of people yeah. that they're trying to get are the kind of people who go, who fire up the PS3, have a few games before going out on an evening. <laughs> you know, those are the that's the major demographic they're going for. Yeah, it's um, like it's just a mess. Yeah, That's make it. your mind up. Yeah, and, and especially it been... making it lower, lowering the barrier of entry and then raising it again. I yeah, that. Thing. I mean, again, it goes back to what I was saying before we were on the air. Uh, they, 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 they just come up. They come up with a decision, and then someone moans. So then they change the decision, and it just pisses off everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> why, why even bother? You know, it's you know. That's one of CCP's kind of faults. Yeah, is they care so much about what the community says that they exactly. They kind of you you the need web. someone. Occasionally, you just need someone to put their foot down. And oh, just I will it. gladly be that person. CCP, <laughs> just hire me. I will be CCP asshole. That will be my my call sign or whatever it is. <laughs> no, like, no, no, you should be CCP uh, douchebag. The yeah. CCP charm. <laughs> charming. <laughs> CCP charming douchebag. <laughs> but ser- like they do need to, they need to learn how to say no. Yeah, exactly. Cause... They're very good. They're, they're, they're I mean, I love on one it, side. But... On one side, oh. they are incredibly arrogant at times. CCP. It's been a downfall in the past. And then they have the other extreme where they're so pandering to, you know, to players at times. And. and it doesn't matter how much other people say. Well, no, that won't work, and they'll give you an ex, and they'll they'll explain why it won't work, and then they go and do it anyway just to pander a few people that are very vocal. Yep, the uh, academy thing is right there, and that's, then, that's exactly what what that whole situation that you just described is. Yeah, but so <clears throat> I mean, I know they're looking for a new EP now, uh, and they just need someone that's going to be able to come in and make a determination as to where they want the game to go and then actually put their foot down and decide this is it. This is where it's going, this is when it's going to be done by, and this is how we're going to do it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, I, w- I don't envy whoever gets the job, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not an insurmountable job. And, you know, it's, the game is, fa- you know, it's not a, it, the game is still, I hate to use the word salvageable because it's not a wreck. Um, but um, it's it's going to be a difficult job for whoever they get. Um, and the example with the tournament, the way the tournament's been organised, is just symptomatic of it. You know, it's just like wishy washy. Oh, oh, sorry, we've offended everyone. We'll do this <laughs> instead. You know, I'm like no, oh, no, no. This is what you're going to do. Do it. <laughs> like, we we will adapt. We will adapt to the game. How, why do you think I spent? Eight nine months doing court mails the way I bloody did. Anyone else would walk away. We we will adapt to how you screw up <laughs> if, you, if you screw up. You know. If I mean they they say like it's for the community um, so much, but they didn't. I don't know how much input they actually got from the community for the tournament. Well, the first I thing I heard that, about it was when it when they announced it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, so, I mean. I mean Going like off the that specifics point, of the game. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I was talking to CPM members, and they didn't know anything about it before it got announced. 
And that's exactly. exactly what they're there for. <laughs> yeah, I think I think if they did like a uh, a player poll or or something, you know, like a survey or something to see like exactly what the community would like to see from the tournament, I think that would have, you know, then we well, could blame you, ourselves for if you know where, for it where, sucking if it sucks. Where have those surveys gone? Because again, I'm, I'm I'm just accused piece they of, don't do piece of pandering. I've just accused them of pandering. But I honestly, when those surveys arrived, you know, I thought, oh, this is an, this is an opportunity to put some input in. That that's obviously going to be collated and scientifically analysed and then put to you know given to someone, uh, and. Now we just have this mismatch of people pandering and you know, uh, then wailing about something and then complaining about this and then CCP trying to balance it out with something else and then it just pisses off another group of players and you know it's, you just just decide what you're going to do and mm-hmm. stick with it. Yeah, there's always going to be somebody pissed off, just like there's people that are saying ARs are overpowered and SMGs are over. There is an uh, overpowered thread for every weapon. Like exactly. I've seen, I've seen one for the plasma cannon. I yeah. have. <laughs> it wasn't a troll post either. They were completely serious. And then that stupid fuck, what's it, um, Fat Princess <laughs> XOXO, has got a hard on for pissing off forge gunners. I guess they got killed by one too many uh, forge gunners or something. You know, it's just people bitch about what kills them. Yeah, exactly. And that's going to happen regardless. Even the game yeah, is exactly. the most glacially Every balanced game. game of all time. Yep. Yep. You were still gonna get it, so why pander to them? Mm-hmm. You know, if you know, just show some level of leadership in this particular regard. Right, because I I get killed by snipers more than anything because of like my my method oh, of playing. Yeah, um, but I don't think they're overpowered because they're the one thing that kills me. Like, I think that's a lot of a lot of uh, what. No, because because that's a that's counter. A that's to a counter it. to the way you play right, exactly. your game. There's, there's always yeah, there's always going to be something that kills you more because of the way you're playing. Exactly. It's not exactly because of you know the weapon being OP. It's because of how you're playing. Like if you're constantly rushing into objectives and you get killed by shotguns over and over again, that doesn't mm-hmm. mean shotguns are overpowered. That means you're running into where the shotguns are coming from. So I mean, you need to change your tactics. You need right. to change your play style. Right. Yeah. There's always going to be pissed off people and. CCP needs to just say shut the fuck up sometimes. Sorry. I mean, don't say it like that. Be like, you know, we're taking your thoughts into consideration. We think this but is then a challenge. You should your thoughts play. into consideration and we're going to ignore them. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them saying that they'll take it into consideration makes the community think, oh, God, they're going to nerf it. You know, <laughs> they, they just look so far into it. It's like, really, they're just kind of brushing it aside. There are people who still think contact grenades are overpowered. Even I now, think, I think my M1s are pretty. Uh, I'm not gonna say overpowered, but they are better than good. contact grenades. Yeah, I won't go. Into... Oh, the only but thing I'll say about contact grenades actually is you can't bounce them off anything, which makes them so much worse than like regular grenades in so many circumstances. But yeah. Although I'm quite interested with the sticky idea they came up with. That was quite good. I'm saying Halo. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the tournament is just going to be... And here's the thing. Here's what's going to happen. You have all those teams and all those games they have to play. As soon as people start losing like their first two or three games, they're not going to play anymore. They're just not going to exactly. show up. So you're yeah. going to have people having to show up with a full squad every like three yeah, times yeah, a week my, to play games. Yeah, exactly. That my, my concern is that the finals on the two, on the two regions is going to be dictated to by four guys that showed up. <laughs> yeah like you could have here's the thing like there's a minimum eight player to sign up for the tournament because apparently eight man teams are allowed even though they won't stand a chance you could <laughs> easily make it to the top four in all likelihood by just running an eight man team and just showing up yeah, exactly you know it's it the reminds... whole thing the whole thing was just a clusterfuck yeah it reminds me of there was a tournament in Starcraft 2 a couple of years ago called the Nvidia GeForce Cup or something like that and it was this huge open online thing and thousands and thousands of people could sign up it had like a huge bracket system so you'd play through a bracket and then you'd move on to another bracket and slowly just sort of whittle down to less and less people 
I made it through my first bracket without playing a single game. <laughs> this is this is exactly how this tournament is going to end up. You know, I just know it is. Two or three weeks in, like, there's going to be just people no showing, like, and that's all it's going to be. It's just going to be Two people actually weeks. showing up. <laughs> you know, it's... and I'll be I'll be genuine, genuinely surprised if it just doesn't turn into majority no shows. Yeah. That's what round robin does at the end. I mean, it's great for like live tournaments where everybody's at the event and playing, mm. and if they have scaling rewards, so you actually get rewarded for showing up. But exactly, like, nobody's yeah, that... no no team is answering to like sponsors or tournament rules or anything like that. Nobody's here because like they're being forced to be here. <laughs> Yeah, I had a, I had a couple of guys that just went ape shit when they said when they had in the uh, rules for the tournament no teabagging. What? <laughs> I don't get how they're gonna enforce that. That seems like one of those rules where like somebody is just gonna. It's one of but... those like. If if anybody complains about that, they're just gonna be nitpicking. Well, they'd have to record the match first of all, wouldn't they? And then yeah. And it'd just be a nice so and tea bag someone just because it's second age to a lot of people and then they'd have to go go through the stats of that game and eliminate that person's skill you know, just, uh it, yeah, the whole thing should have been arranged within CCP. It should have been you know, it you know, they've got the ability to set up a match. <laughs> so Yeah. It so reminds <clears throat> And here's the it? funny thing, they just had a huge EVE tournament, and I know DS doesn't care about EVE, but they had an EVE tournament, Fuck like, Eve. uh, like over the last month or so, and it ran really well, it was really fun to watch, everybody playing and it had a great time, it was a really good system that they had. They did double elimination, like all the matches, for the most part, were great. So, well, and even like the terrible ones were funny, because like people signing up and not realizing that half their team wasn't allowed to play, because rules regarding people like ringing and stuff like that mm. even those matches like people made a good had like a good time with those like the people who showed up with just like hauler ships like six people that was a fun match even though it was like completely stupid it was funny yeah and then you've got this completely different thing with dust where it's i don't know if it's even the same department if they've even like been involved with each other at all at any point, and it's just my headaches coming back. Yeah, well, that's the tournament for you. It, like, the whole tournament is just a bloody headache. Yeah. You know, and uh, you're you're not going to find anyone, I think, that's more supportive of of Dust than and CCP in general's opinion with Dust than me, because um, I'm all for it, and I think it's a complete waste of time. Waste of effort, waste of, waste of effort, waste of time, and it's just going to piss off people. So why? Do I don't it? think CCPs are even like even doing anything really, except for putting out information. I mean, like running, like the running double SP events and stuff like that. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with mm -hmm. getting like free stuff. Yeah, like, free stuff's good. Yeah, no one's going to turn down free stuff. America. But, but it's like I said, you know, you know, double SP is something that's relatively easy to do. It's simple to understand, and everyone can take him, take part. Well, this one was a little bit more confusing because it was a different kind of double SP. But, but even then, it was just if you play, yeah, you get twice as much pain. SP. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't really get twice as much SP. You get twice active. When really, more of your SP comes from passive than active, anyways. I guess. Unless you're Revera, who just seems to play the bloody game all the time. Yeah, she lives on dust. It's okay, though. She's so, BD, what do you think about that? What do you think about this train wreck of a tournament? Yeah, because mm -hmm. we've already established mm -hmm. that we think it sucked. Mm -hmm. She left. Mm -hmm. I knew it. She's fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. So a poker. I think just the mere thought of the tournament killed her. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on to something. Cheerful. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Oh, she did drop. Oh. Well, 
I guess that's what the tournament... That's that's a good summary of the tournament. Even talking about it makes people want to leave. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's hope that they got made it all the way through the end of this uh, episode, then. You know, you know what this episode has in common with the tournament? <laughs> Only half the people showed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually while we're at it. Name and shame. Oh, oh she's back. She's back because we stopped talking ne- about it. Yeah, uh, ne- yeah. Na- name and sh- just name change and shame. the subject. We don't want her to hear what we were saying. Name this. Sh- name and shame the ones that were supposed to turn up today. Well, Novocaine. <laughs> I already made that. My joke. microphone stopped working. Okay. The tournament's gonna be shit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yes no? I don't know. I mean, you can't say that. Like the people who want to have fun with it and want to be involved in it and stuff like that, then let them have fun with it. Okay. I think that's okay. fair. I love your optimism. <laughs> so, girl. Okay, but Sorry. let's move on because I want to talk about other things. <laughs> this is really depressing. Planetary Conquest. I have no idea what's happened, happening in Planetary Conquest like over this last six weeks. Really, other than like everybody's apparently left except Eon, and everybody's whining. Everybody of... hates Eon. It's funny. Okay, let's let's make this clear right now because I was talking to True Zero, who's the uh, CEO, the commanding officer of the One Hundred First Industry University. Uh, everyone that's complaining about Eon winning winning um, Planetary Conquest, shut the hell up now. Okay, <laughs> so, so a they played the game. B, they played it very well, and C, they played the meta game even better. Right, and it is not their fault that anyone else who claimed that they were going to stop them doing it didn't show up. Okay, so can we all just stop whining on Eon? Right, and I would say that if it was Kronos that had done it, I would say that if it was anyone would, you know. Well, Kronos did try and do that. Exactly, but you know, if they, but they, they, they quit, you know. Um. And the reason they quit is because I actually think that the planetary conquest is so much of a bind, so much grind involved in it currently, that it just became boring. You know, and you know, fair play to Eon, they're getting all the isk and stuff like that. But the hell point, the reason why it ended up the way it has is because A, it was in a small place. Uh, it was they should have expanded it from Molden Heath pretty quickly. Uh, and then we wouldn't be in the situation now because it'd be pockets of all over the place uh, and you know it's just oh, you know it was just a, a P- PC for me was just something that wasn't going to work in its current problem in, in its current iteration it just needs so much work on it for it to become fun and there's that word again fun there are things that aren't fun in the game and <laughs> to have a game that isn't fun is not a game that's just that's just me. That's that's you know, anyone and anyone can carry on railing off uh, Aeon if they want if it makes them feel better. But no one showed up and stopped him. So why blame them? I mean, I think we're I don't know winning because like we're the only ones who can tolerate what it is. And I feel because I was talking to people about like what what PC was like, and they ah. The, oh. Wick Gloves, I think, was saying that he was talking to people from Chron- oh, not Chron- uh. But Chronos is the Alliance? Chronos is the Alliance, isn't it? Chronos is the Alliance, yeah. He was talking to people from Chronos and they were saying, our A team has just been playing 18 games a day. And, like, Eon doesn't have an A team. I mean, we have team players who are apparently yeah. the best. Whatever. But everybody in Eon, <laughs> except probably me, is like capable of actually being good in planetary conquest. You know, it's not difficult. And like, whenever a war happens, everybody gets into a channel, and we just say it doesn't matter which corp you're from. You just play together, and like everybody is at a certain point where you can just take anybody from Eon, put them in a planetary conquest match, and they'll be good players. At me. Oh yeah, like it's like that's like me. Ironically, I run the largest Merc Corp in the game, and I suck. So... <laughs> I mean, like the way I want to play Dust, I want to find out how everything works, and you can't do that and be specialized at the same time. And mm. to play in PC, you need to be specialized. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, again, I say it's just 
you know, fundamentally, I felt that the PC mechanic was just flawed because I didn't see it going anywhere. Um, other people, than just... people don't need to trust their B teamers. They need to trust their C teamers. They need to trust everybody. They need to be able to just say, "Doesn't matter who, just like get sixteen people, throw them in a match." You need to be able to just let go and be able to do that and not yeah, rely I... on twelve people. Uh, well, see, again, go with Kronos. Uh, I think Kronos have got, to, have got to, and Kronos and anyone else that did it, have got to take some blame for doing the a waxing thing, because all of a sudden everyone realised, oh, we could take part in this, but we could completely get stuffed over on it, which is very Eve, admittedly, but uh, this isn't Eve. I keep trying to repeat that. This isn't Eve. This is a console game. It's still, you know, the demographics that people play this game. That's not something they're used to doing. Yet they need to be eased into it. That's that's, and to have that happen so fast, you know, literally day one, and to have it happen to us, you know, and I actually thought the whole thing was hilarious, um, but you know, it ju it just opened up everyone's eye eyes to the possibility that this could happen. So why invest time and effort into it? Um, so I think you know, ironically, Kronos, who would tr who did it in order to try and win ended up losing because it just it just killed it you know and then they had to put a hot fix in that didn't really work you know <laughs> well the so, current system is well it's better than it was well it's better than it was but all it all it all it all the hot fix did is highlight the fact that there were there wasn't a court role situ there, there were there were court roles in place to help prevent it at all so it's, it, just, it was just something that highlighted another failing of the game. Uh, so, you know, so that, you know, it's, you know, it's, what can you say? I mean, it's it's not an interesting game mechanic to me. You know, I'm fair play to them for doing it. But, you know. I think Eon just has a lot of no lifers. <laughs> It's certainly a way to change what I said, but yeah. Yeah, way to bolster it. It's that charm again. It's that charm. No, no, I'm just saying, like, whenever I get on, there's generally just, like, if I get on during the day, there's generally the same people, like the same core people. I'm not saying they go into every PC match together, but I know that a lot of the people want to play PC matches because of the payouts. Mm. Um, so... And it is I mean, enjoyable you really... to a degree. Oh, yeah, it's right. enjoyable. I mean, I'm, I'm the pro, uh, when we played pro in PC a couple of weeks ago, the yes. amount of comments I got from people in my corp, like saying, wow, I didn't realize you get all that stuff at the end of it. <laughs> it's like, so, yeah, that's literally the only reason why it's worth your time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, before they increased the payouts, it was like, you get a million, but everybody's suits were costing, you know, Hundred eighty thousand each suit because well, I mean you, I got I mean, a million and I still made a profit on that match, but right. But if you you know you die eight times with a two hundred thousand in a suit, you're you're losing isk. Like where what's in it for you? So increasing the isk payout helped out a lot, I think. Um, even though PC's pretty still ghost townish right now. Hmm. I don't know exactly what, what they have going on with the whole Fight Club or whatever the hell it is. That was actually something know. I wanted to talk about next. Fight Club is actually happening at some point. It is a thing. and it, like Team players and clubs, I think the guy's name is, is actually trying really hard to get that going. And I'm kind of curious about who... I know DSU are in a different corp now. Yeah. I don't know if they're interested in that at all. Wondering. I don't either. <laughs> VD have, and DS as well. Oh, DS. Danny. Hmm. So similar. <laughs> Danny and VD. Are you, are you guys interested in taking part in PFC? Um, we've initially said we we were interested in, but I think we're going to try for a separate um thing with Eon. Um, because um. Because it, the Planet Fight Club is interesting, but I don't think it helps us in terms of training play, training players for ourselves. Um, 
we're more interested in what we initially wanted to do, which was have a planet designated as just for corps to send their, their lower ranked players to have. It's going to be the know, campus, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's 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 gonna it, it's gonna be downgraded from their original idea. Con- you know that we have all the training corps on there because um, it's literally only us and Delta really now. I mean, Jobo. I mean, I haven't heard much on Jobo on the forums at all. But then again, I'm not really much of a forum junkie, so I tend to do most of my dust out of dust stuff on Twitter. Um, so we saw like downgrading the original idea. We've got some ideas that we're sort of like playing with um, with Eon because obviously they're the <laughs> let's be honest, they're the landlords <laughs> at the moment. So um, you know, so. The, Planet Flight Club is initially was interesting to us, but we're trying to do something a little bit different. Um, we're still talking about that, so it's it's nothing's set in stone yet. So, but initially we were interested. But if it, if it progress, if it becomes something that as an idea that snowballs, then we might look at it again. Okay. And uh, VD, I don't know yet. We're we're debating it, but. Y'all shouldn't, because Onslaught idea. sucks. Bunch of assholes. This is the man who wants to be an Onslaught so bad. Uh, there's only one reason I want to be an Onslaught. <laughs> um, we just don't know what we're going to do yet. We haven't decided. Okay. Well, I mean, I was going to hold oh. off. I don't. Well, this isn't even a set plan, but me and Kane are actually looking into running something like tournament-wise on... PFC. So, mm. for anybody who's maybe interested in playing in the tournament who didn't like Urgent Fury site, and for anybody who was maybe on the fence about joining PFC but still want to play in a tournament, there, there's a tournament in the works, and we're gonna hopefully have something on that fairly soon. So. I think like so it'd be interesting to find out. Like I say, I, I, I will give. I will say I love the idea of Planet Fight Club. I do like the idea of it. Um, and I think it'd be certainly more interesting than the tournament that Urgent Fury seemed to have shat out. Um, but, uh, you know, so kudos on the actual idea. It's just not, I, I, in terms of what we want to perform to do in the game, i.e. train people, I don't think it would help out us tremendously. It'd be something that end up being just for the, you know, the hardcore elite members of our squad, you know, the ones that have managed to get more than 5 million SP. Um, um, so, yeah, so I, I love the idea, but I'm not sure it's going to work for us in its current format. Well, I am looking forward to like people being able to actually train team versus team games and stuff like that using PA. Yeah, in a stress-free environment. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. This again, that goes back to the whole breakup of e- Eon eventually winning. It's just it was just so stressful. No. <laughs> it's, you know, yeah. a game being, that gives uh, you stress. Yeah, being able to focus on on teams' fundamentals and like actual tactics and stuff, instead of panicking and thinking, oh, well, we're gonna lose this, we're gonna lose the district now, we're gonna lose this. It was a bunch of waste of isk. Oh, we're losing all this money. Blah blah blah. Your money's going towards experience, and experience wins games more than mm. raw skill does, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, where the ISK for us comes from, you know, we want ISK, but we want ISK to be able to buy skill books for our new players and, you know, give them free weaponry. And, you know, that's what EVE University does in EVE. Uh, obviously, we need the mechanics in the game to be able to do that. Um, that's what, you know, that's what we're aiming for. We've we've got, we've got sort of like plans in place for, you know, basically written on the back of a napkin uh, for when that sort of thing comes into the game and then we can sort of like quickly get it up and running s- smoothly uh, but that's where we want to go um, but you know the, the, so that's where we would want the money coming from that's where the corp tax would be good for us um, I ain't paying no taxes <laughs> well yeah. we, we won't call it corp tax we'll just call it you know a, a, a corporation Trust fund. <laughs> Corporation sub. Scholarship donations. Yeah. Scholarship Involuntary donations. scholarship donations. Yeah. 
That's a nice ring to it. <laughs> ISD. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, the we still don't know much about 1.4, and I'm not doing another show until after 1.4 hits. So, well, unless, like, it's really delayed. Yeah, so anyone from CSP who are watching, you know, just drop some patch notes down for God's sake. And Nullabor and Foxbot, stop trolling us on Twitter with hints. <laughs> just tell us what's coming up. <laughs> you know, I just got this metal image of just Fox 4 with a cigar. Just going, ah, <laughs> let's make the bitches whine. <laughs> well, there's one thing the community is good at. It's whining about shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to end on that less than thrilling. Note. Although there is... <laughs> Tournament is coming. Planetary Fight Club or whatever it's called. If you're interested in that, like, there's a thread on the War Room forums, I think? All you have to put in is just go to search and put in Planet Fight or Club. Project Fight Club. Or even just Fight Club, I think, would find it. Yeah, I think it was the first thing that popped up when I put in uh, Planet Fight Club. So. The War Room Forum, isn't that a dirty place to go to? I, I hear there's a rough crowd in there. Someone made yeah. a good thread the other day. <laughs> Someone made a good thread the other day. About Eon? Yes. And it um, wasn't whining. Yeah, I, I saw that thread. I'm trying to find it again. <laughs> that brave guy. Although, like, everybody seemed to be very supportive of him, so... I mean, he was telling, like, the complete truth. Anyway, fuck that shit. We've been going for ages. We were meant to start four hours ago, so... The sun has gone down. And I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> go and you got food. a headache. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Right, so... We'll do shoutouts. Uh, DS shoutouts. Ah, oh, shit. Um... <laughs> Let's see, shout out to ex Oscar Mike. Um, he's a new YouTuber. He actually just did his first video. Um, I think he put it up yesterday. Um, and I'm going to try to work with him a little bit and uh, you know help him build his channel. So check him out. Um, he did like a little tip video um, about being ISK efficient and stuff. Um, who else? Shout out to VD. I'm sure he's here. Hi, VD. Um, shout out to Red Bull for being in my blood all the time. And Jaeger. Um, <laughs> dust Night, Friday nights in the Drunk Dust chat channel. Um, we're always in there, like, even if it's not Friday nights. Um, we, may, we just might not be getting drunk and crazy. But, uh, yeah, feel free to LFS in there. Um, shout What's out drunk, to... Drunk Dust. Drunk Dust. Is that, is that, you type it in exactly like that. Yep, Drunk Dust is the channel's nice. name. With yep. No, it's Drunk Night. Drunk Night. Did I say Drunk Dust? The channel yeah. is Drunk Space Night. There we go. Um, who else do I want to give a shout out to? Shout out to my mom for calling me earlier. That's where I went. Um, <laughs> she needed some some of her uh, reassurance that I'm alive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and who else? That's it. I love you, mom. Cool. <laughs> I'm a mama's boy. That's a, that southern charm, you know. <laughs> Everybody from the south loves a mama. Danny, say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we're not going to go down there. There's a whole deliverance line I could do. Um, right. There is only really one shout out I want to give. And I've not mentioned it all, to, and obviously some people know what's happened, but I would just like to give a shout out to the whole of the community for the support that we got in the uni when we announced that one of our members had died. Um, it meant an awful lot to us. Um, and some of us who had spoke, who knew Freebird uh, and worked with him um, appreciate very much all the support we got. And thank you to CCP for the e very nice email I got this morning from them about the whole thing. So that is really... The only one to shout out, I think it merits from me from blathering today. Uh, a big shout out to the whole of the community for basically proving to everyone why this community, along with the EVE community, is the best gaming community in the world. So thank you very much. You just made me look like an asshole. 
It's oh, you do, that. You, you do that. You do that. You, <laughs> you do that very own, well yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's like I say, fuck you, community, and you're like, you, community. <laughs> you love the community. BD, what are your shout-outs to the community? Um, the only shout-out that I have, honestly, is to my corp. Always. I love my corp. I knew Thank it was you. coming. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That was an awesome shout-out. I have one more shout-out. <laughs> To the stuffed lion behind Gimbal. <laughs> Keeping it real. Thanks. The back. Yeah, I've been uh, getting ready to move, and we're getting ready to sell our house. Mm-hmm. So I was going through my cupboard, found my uh, Teddy Lion name. from when I was four. He has a name. Go tell us, Gimbal, what is his name? Leo. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> oh how original. How, how a bloody imaginative is that? Because I'm a Leo, as I mentioned, uh, it was my birthday five days ago. So thank you for everybody who sent me birthday wishes. I appreciate that. I was the first. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded so overwhelmed. Oh, uh, like, okay, whatever. My glacial heart melted at the emotion he was displaying there. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. I like how this ended on a good note after the whole second half of the video and the <laughs> podcast was just like ranting and raving and just basically us punching dust in the face. Yeah. Cool stuff. But we love but it, we love it really. Oh, I do have a shout out to give. I have a shout out to give to everybody who was asking me about where Boots on the Ground was and when the new episode was gonna grow up. Like I really appreciate when people actually like what I do and want more of it and I really appreciate people for coming to me and like saying, hey, I want more of this, because I do get some dislikes on videos, and some people coming to me and saying, please don't bring this guest on anymore, and all the whining. Oh no! Yeah, it no, it really did with me. It was me. <laughs> it was neither of you. It was probably me, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if somebody said they didn't want me on the show anymore, because I'd have a don't give a shit attitude. So. No, I don't think I've ever had a complaint about you. I no, might. No, they, like people that. have been watching, I guess. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to give a shout out to everybody who was saying thank you for doing this and like wanting more. Like, I actually really appreciate that, so feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh shit, there's a giant yeah. insect in my room. So I'm going to like yeah. deal with that and stop this recording. Uh, we'll be back in about a month-ish. I really need to like get everything sorted. We've had one garage sale and we still have a house full of shit that we need to get rid of, so... Yeah. We'll but when I that. return, when I return, I will be streaming and I will be doing more videos and I'll be back to regular schedule, but I just need to like move house so awesome cool we'll be back in a month and we'll have 1.4 to talk about Woo! Woo-hoo! thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll see you in about a month cheers really i, I decided to do that <laughs> yeah well i could have done that <laughs> <laughs>